Well, we made the travel. This is stop number five of our college series. We are in Western South Dakota hunting with some students from South Dakota School of Mines. So that is in Rapid City, South Dakota, if you guys are uh, wanna know where that's at. But um, we got someone that you guys might be familiar with here with us this week, Cody Brockhouse. He was with us uh, week one when we were at NDSU hunting early season with the guys up there uh, at NDSU in Fargo. So, but today we have Ryan from the School of Mines. Uh, him and Cody are here, and they're just going to tell you guys a little bit about what the birds have been doing this last week as they've been scouting the area. So I'll turn it over the, to them now. Well, Ryan and I went to school together. That's how we know each other. We've been hunting for quite a few years now, uh, but we've been trying to keep in touch watching the birds because they, they've been really inconsistent. When it gets late season like this, we're in the last couple days of season, actually, and they're getting super inconsistent. They're hitting different fields every day. It's super warm out. We have no snow on the ground, and it is tough. I mean, you got to know your stuff and be able to get under the flight line to actually consistently kill them. That's, we've been running traffic so much more this year than we have ever in years past because you really don't know where they're going to fly. You got to get in between them and the and where they're roosting, where they're wanting to fly, and and just hope for the best. I mean, sometimes you you burn them up and you do really good, and other times it's just it's tough. You're scraping and scratching, and I mean we've been watching them. And like for example, this morning they flew right away in the morning, and for the past couple days they hadn't done anything but fly after four o'clock. They'd been rolling out at four four fifteen, and that is it. And then for some odd reason today they roll out at seven thirty eight o'clock, and there's no rhyme or reason to it. This week especially has been difficult because we were projected to only get an inch and then after we got an inch of snow we were supposed to project it to get five to ten inches and then here we are two days later and we don't have a single single bit of snow out here. So it's been really difficult this week to kind of figure out our game plan for this weekend. Yeah, for sure. And I even like want to mention this is the last week weekend of South Dakota goose season in this in this unit that we're hunting in and what is the weather like what's the I temp mean, right it's, now it's it's so tough to kill geese right now it is literally we're standing out here in in long sleeve shirts it's like 50 degrees right now 50 degrees I mean, no wind it's yeah. it is literally terrible goose hunting conditions but we're grinding it out I mean you got to give it all you got the last the last little bit it's last weekend we got to make it a good one for yeah sure. for sure absolutely well I think we're just going to kind of wrap things up here uh we'll be when are we going out? What's the plan for this evening? We're, I think we'll leave here in a couple hours. We okay. want to get to the field probably, probably 2 o'clock. Gotcha. I mean, they probably won't roll off till about 4, 4.15, but, I mean, you never know when something's going to change. I mean, literally, these late-season geese, there can be one heavy cloud that rolls over the sky, and it's like a freaking light switch, and they're all off rolling off the mm -hmm. water. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just you never know what they're going to do, so you just got to prepare for the worst. For sure. Well, I, I for sure want to thank you guys for letting me come out here and, and film you guys. Um, but we'll get things grinding here and we'll be back in the field. So. Absolutely. Grind Ready. it out. <laughs> Want to set the blind off into the kicker stuff? We'll shoot them at like 30 yards or so. As these guys are getting set up, here's a quick over the top view of our decoy spread provided by Onyx. Ken provided a case of shells for everyone here, so everyone's able to go in and grab a box. Everybody has one? Oh! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a little nub. That is goofy.
Ja. Wow. I got him oh, oh, oh my gosh. Wow. Was there a wounded one over here? Where are these ones at? Oh, oh, fuck. Fuck. Well, we just got loaded up. We finished the day with a nine man limit. It's kind of weird today, the birds act a little different. There's no wind, but it didn't really affect us. We, we worked a lot of birds today. A lot of them passed over, but we still ended up finishing the job. A couple guys just left to go scout for tomorrow and hope we can get back at it. <laughs> 